time is it right now? Well, I was trying to give you out of time, but it's about 4.45 in the morning and I'm headed to LaGuardia because we're going to Aspen. And we're on our way to LaGuardia. I hate flying out of LaGuardia, by the way. I'm a JFK girl. But because this is a group trip, um, yeah, the unanimous decision was to fly out of LaGuardia. And I'm leaving out of gate 88, which means that it's extremely far from the TSA check, um, TSA checkpoint. So, I'm going to be prepared to do the mad dash through the airport to be sure that I get to the gate on time. But, yeah, I'm excited. I've never been to Aspen before. I'm not excited about the cold. I checked the weather this morning. Can you cut that radio off? <laughs> I checked the weather this morning, and it said one degree. I don't, you know, I know it's going to be fun, but I don't, I'm not a person that likes the cold. So, we're going to see. But, yeah, I'm really excited, and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. This is, like, my first official vlog right yeah but anyway yeah i'm excited about this trip i'm tired but i'm excited to get there um yeah are you excited <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the orange one is mine. The orange one is mine. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We're getting all the bags loaded up into the Sprinter. It's going to be our method of transportation for the remainder of the week. And I'm excited, guys. This is my first time coming to Aspen. It's a little warm right now in Denver, but I'm excited. Richness and Aspen. Richness. Yes. 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 I couldn't cry. Got a three-hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got no snacks. Stop. Go yeah, that's the one thing about so drugs that you can't unhide yourself. I'm excited. You see, look, I could control mm -hmm. that. Surprisingly, it is not that cold like I thought it was gonna be. So that's good. Room's that? Let's see. I don't know. Is, are they this way? Oh, they're very close. I think there's two downstairs. The 
this is nice. Okay. Fancy ass oh yeah, we'll be in there. What is this with the door? What is this, honey? Okay, this is cute. I feel like the other rooms are downstairs. Right here. Yeah. 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 Straight, no, straight. I think it's a nope, that's locked. Oh. Bedroom number two. This is cute. No. I'm trying to figure out which room I want to sell y'all. Why everybody trying to sort out they, their luggage? I'm over here picking the room. Pick your room. Pick your room. Let's go find the other room so we can pick. Let's see. It's a little dark down here. We need a little night light or something. Right? All right. Let's see what's behind door number. What is this? Three? Door number three is cute. It's a little cold down here, but it's all right. Is that a television? Because you know they be having the TVs in the... Okay. I feel like, it's, I feel like the screen moved, but you said that. It did. It's a, it's a TV. Okay. This way. See what's behind door number four. Door number four is cute, too. It's a little snug in here. Little kitchen nook. You yeah, already know what time it is. <laughs> how do you do, Brian? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is the man show. with the plan right here. Yes, sir. The only one. Oh, my God. Hey, this is my friend Apple, y'all. Hi. I'm here. My <laughs> Mwah. We have the chefs getting ready to do their thing. We have the tacos. It's Taco Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Taco Thursday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here's my room, guys. I've been trying to figure out what area in the house I'm going to use to record my get ready with me's, but I'm going to figure it out. But, yeah. All right, I got to go put gift bags together now. Right? Oh, cute. Where you got this from, Apple? What's that? The schema, the blinged out schema. Fashion over. So cute. Everybody got slippers yeah. with their zodiac signs. Everybody got pajamas with their name on it. The Santa sacks have their name on it. And it's gonna go underneath the tree. Drink Sarah's with their names. Electronic hand warmers. So we don't have to come hear nobody complain about being cold. What are you most excited about on this trip, Shadina? Getting together with my friends. Fabulously. What are you most excited about, hostess with the mostest? Just to see everyone happy about all the work I've put in. Right. Yes. <laughs> All the work I put in. So Santa sacks are almost done. What about you, fellow planning committee? What are you most oh. excited about? What are you most, most excited about? I'm most excited about the dinner. I'm most excited about the activities we're going to do together. Um, and just everybody like bonding and having a good time, you know? I'm excited about everything. The whole trip. The whole Camaraderie is so important. I don't think people understand that. 
the holidays are not just about your blood family. It's about your extended family as well, right? The people that get you to the finish line every day. So, up here looking a little rough, y'all, but I promise I'm going to get myself together. I'm on no sleep right now. And these tacos are going to put me exactly where I need to be today. actually worried we're like oh there's no snow so we might not be able to like ski and stuff and then we woke up and it's like oh okay well, there there's lots of snow up there and snowmass are okay that's good to know my son is a lift mechanic at snowmass is snowmass like the popular place to ski yes it's Aspen is where the rich people go, and, and, and Snowmass is more of a family-oriented area. Uh, Aspen Mountain has a lot of harder stuff. Okay. Uh, Snowmass has a, a good variety of all different types of stuff. And I think the first stuff they open up is off the gondola, my son was saying, which is not too difficult. Okay. So, it's starting to snow. I'm here at UPS. I had to overnight a ski suit because the post office lost my original ski suit. So now we are here trying to intercept this package and get this ski suit. So they told me to give them a few. It's loaded on the truck, they believe. And they're trying to find it. It is, what time is it right now? It is 9.29. And we leave to go skiing at 11. So I'm hoping that they can find it in the next 10, 15 minutes because I have like a 30 minute ride to get back to the house. But this is what, only me. And shout out to USPS for losing my original ski suit and making me buy another one overnight to Colorado to have me out in the snow trying to find my package. Um, they delivered it yesterday, but we weren't at the Airbnb yet and it required a signature because it was over a certain dollar amount. So they were gonna reattempt today but it said it wasn't going to arrive until 8 p.m. So we couldn't have that. So I'm driving around these Colorado streets trying to find my package. <laughs> so let's hope they save the day because I don't want to have to sit my ski day out because I'm not prepared and don't have a ski suit. So, but let's go inside and see if we have an update. So, I just got in from UPS. I just had a little meltdown. So, I have to turn the camera off because I'm pissed off. I did not get my snowsuit. So, I'm going to make it work with something that I have and some base layers. So, that I can go skiing with my friends. Because I wanted to stay home. But, everybody's like, no, you have to come, you have to come. So, I'm just hoping that I don't get too wet in it because it's not waterproof. So, that was my only fear about getting wet and I don't want to be sick. But... They did not give me that package. That package is in the wind. So, I'll be back after I get ready. And hopefully, I turn Monday around. After the whole ski suit debacle, I ended up having to use this body suit that I have. And put some base layers under it. Because, yeah. Shout out to UPS for ruining my ski day. But that's what I have to do. Get Hey. Okay. Hey, I'm going down to After you. UPS tried to sabotage me. Sabotage. Okay. Well, as always, you. So we're heading to Snowmass. And I'm about to be like an Olympic skier, y'all. I need 10 10 10s all across the board. <laughs> 
So it's about to be time for me to put this cool shit down. Cause it's getting real critical out here. But I'm happy. No, my snowsuit did not come in time, but I did find me some snow pants that went with my outfit. So now we're about to go on this Alpine coaster and uh, see what that's in for. Hard to breathe, but we made it back to the house. And I think I have like an hour left to get ready for dinner. I'm actually wearing a skirt for dinner. I don't know what I was thinking, but baby, if anybody is planning to come to Aspen, especially if you're traveling with a group, base layers is important. I can barely talk, y'all. I'm out of breath. Ooh, child. I gotta fix my hair. It's a lot going on, but I had a good time. This is a different type of cold. Huh? Fun, but cold. So, where are we going for dinner? Steakhouse, Steakhouse 316. 316. So, we're going to Steakhouse 316 tonight. And I decided to wear a mini skirt with a fur, like I'm back in New York City. So, this is going to be very interesting. This is going to be an interesting dinner. But overall, Aspen day one. Well, actually, it's technically day two. Day two. Day two was a success, even though UPS tried to sabotage me. But my friends helped me pull it together, so we made it work. Because early, I was not having it. But it turned out cool. I'm excited to go out to the lounge tonight. We could turn up. A little turn up. The lounge is going to be a good time because we make the fun wherever we go. We're gonna be walking up to the DJ booth with the thing. Can like, we get, can we get a can request? We be, can we get can this piece? Can I have a request? <laughs> oh man! Can we listen to this place? Ooh. One thing about this blanket right here, this shit gets you warm, baby. I don't know where they get this from, but I gotta buy this when I get home. <laughs> I had this wrapped up in this last night. I had to peel up out of this. So, we are dressed for dinner. Hold on. I gotta get the boots though. Hold on. Get the boots. 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 Now, I'm probably gonna be freezing. But we gonna thug it out. Sixteen steakhouse three sixteen for a. a very Dina's editing pictures right now. She's not paying attention. Concentrated <laughs> dinner. It's rich dinner. It's a rich house. It's rich friends. It's rich fabric. Rich vibes. It's rich miss. Rich lives. Yeah. Can y'all do that over, please? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs>
officially of Aspen and it is breakfast time, y'all. And we are having good breakfast and mimosas. The gang is not all here yet, but. Oh, bliss sex, please. Yes, right. I'm bringing it up. <laughs> Look at this fresh fruit, baby. Y'all ready for snowmobiling? Yes. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. I said that this morning. I said, "Are y'all going skiing again this morning?" Like they do it there, right? I don't even know. Did they you like it? Did you like the skiing? The little bit that you did? No, we, we didn't, didn't do it. We got there too late. Oh, we got there too late. I thought y'all was able to do something. They started. They started talking to us a little crazy, like we're crazy. God got me. So let's go. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> so we're getting ready to go up <laughs> on these mountains. Looking like a Power Ranger, a Prada Ranger. A little better? And you can ride like that. That's totally fine. Yeah. It's very hard for me right now. See a little bit of the behind um, the scenes. But I'm bugging it out. Yeah, yeah there's, but, there's been some old Western movies. <laughs> I'm having a hard time right now. The oxygen's very thin up here. But we thugging it out. These views are amazing, though. These views are amazing. <laughs> I'm a rough rider now. I was so happy. It was so much fun. I'm so happy we did that. How was it, Ryo? Yo, man, she was exuberating. <laughs> DJ, take me home. Oh, bless you. Thank you for your service. What year was that? 09? 1990. Back to the house, finally. And baby. I need a nap. We got Dina on taco duty. You know, I used to live in LA, so I'm part Mexican now. <laughs> So good morning, it's Aspen day four, I think. I don't know, I lost count. But we are getting ready to go to brunch tomorrow. But this spot that we're going to brunch at is the only black owned restaurant in Aspen. The only. So of course, you know, we had to make sure that we stopped there. 
headed there right now. It's about 45 minutes away from the house where we're at right now. So after that, we're going to go do some shopping. They have a Chanel pop-up here, so I can't wait to go and see what they got. Because, you know, they're going to have the exclusive, the exclusives. So, yeah, we're about to turn up on our last full day at Aspen. Before we head to brunch, what is it? Shot o'clock. Bittersweet. I'm homesick, but at the same time, I'm not ready to go home, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, we're getting ready to go. Waiting for our ride so we can get to the airport, which is about like a three hour drive mm -hmm. from where we are. We're in Carbondale. We have to drive to Denver. So, yeah. I had a good time. You had a good time, App? I had an amazing time. <laughs> I'm homesick, but I'm not, I'm not ready to leave, if that makes sense. <laughs> The words of simplicity. <laughs> 